Hello knitters, it's Faye Lynn from Strand Knitting Studio in sunny, sunny, it is sunny today, um, San Clemente, California. And today we got lots of Noro yarn in, Noro yarn, uh, all these brand new Noro yarns, and I'll have pictures of the sweaters that they've done out of them. But of course they can be used for many things other than sweaters. Most of them are feltable. So, um, well, I'll just show you right now. So we've got these, these are naturally done. They're not dyed. These are the colors for off the sheep. There's one more color. And so these can felt, so you can do anything felted with this. Um, we have this bag, which is a great pattern. So it's like a keyhole bag. So it, you, you know, there's a little thing right here. You put your strap through and there you go. So that those are going to be great for this bag. We've also done it in a stripe, which we do have some of this in stock. But if you don't like the brights, we also now have the beautiful um, pastel -y ones that are so lovely. And, and I'll be showing you sweaters that they've made up of these too. So you can see what other options besides maybe a bag or clogs or see felted. Oh, the other thing is the, um, is the um, 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 coasters. <clears throat> so back to memory, remembering these coasters. So you, you get four, so you knit a square, you felt it, then you slice it into fours. And it makes a set of four coasters, which work really, really well, because um, it actually absorbs the, the water. And all of these would be great for that because they'll felt. And I think you can get maybe four, pair, four sets out of one of these really big skeins. So if you wanna do multiple gifts, this that's a really good one and a really good way to use this yarn. So for sweaters and for other things, we have a ton of it now. And like, I don't know, the colored ones, there's like six different colors. The natural ones, there's five colors, I think. And um, so that's what's, that's what's new in the studio. Um, this Saturday from two to four, uh, we're doing a fingerless mitt class. And the pattern I put out is, or I'm using is this one and um is this one and this is a slip stitch pattern which you can't really see on on this because the, the color is so busy but it still is textured it still looks different from here than it does from here when this is just stockinette and this is um the slip stitch pattern so these are very simple the thumb you can build up the thumb if you want but if not this is what it looks like when you just cast it off and you knit around so you don't have to do a whole thumb thing if that's not your thing <laughs> and these these are really great and but but they also can be just made out of anything solid color and the pattern would show up more um this is one we have out of cashmere so you could do this pattern too if you wanted to but see how the pattern really shows up so this slip stitch pattern would show up a lot more if it was solid but i i sort of like this remember this is the the fingering weight so any fingering weight doubled doubled so you're on a four this, this is cashmere so we have um four colors of cashmere so one um one ball of one ball makes a, a set of cashmere mitts and it does as again it didn't have to be this pattern it can be this pattern it can also be this pattern this is the other pattern i did which is a really nice um beginning kind of pattern so you have like um a rib right here and then it's just knit knit pearl pearl like pearl and then again, the thumb can be just into there or you can build up a thumb if you prefer. But this is also a really nice pattern. And again, in a solid, only it actually shows up pretty good on this, um, but would show up more in a solid. So there's many options for the fingerless gloves as far as what yarn you want to use. We have some lovely soft um, alpaca too that's just really, really soft and sort of gives a halo that's a little bit like the um, cashmere. So that's this Saturday from 2 to 4. And let's see, the other thing I want to talk about was hats. I also have great pom-poms for the hats. So these um, snap on and off so that you can take them off if you need to wash your hat. But this is done out of the Beatrix, which um, um, we've been talking a lot about is the Beatrix. And this one is done out of the chow. So this is a super wash. You can see there's a flowery part there then striped solid. This is a really fun hat to do. Really great in a lot of different colors. Um, if you've got a guy, this could be a guy or a girl, but if you've got a guy, we have some pretty nice cables. This is Katmandu, which is wool and silk and soft and wears like iron. I knitted my son a sweater out of this. 
uh, 15 years ago and it still looks brand new and he wears it all the time. This, this yarn just really, really wears really well. Um, but, and then if it's of our girl, there's a pom-pom. We got pom-poms. <laughs> and here's another one that could be guy or girl, probably more, it leans a little more girl because it has a little bit of lacy stuff going on right there. But anyways, we've got lots of hat ideas with pom-poms. That'd be a great hat. And then we've got lots of pom-poms. It's like a little fuzzy, fuzzy bowl of yumminess. <laughs> so we've got pom-poms for whatever hat you want to make. Um, you can, of course, make all your own pom-poms yarn ones. And there's pom-pom makers now, which are amazing. They make really, really good pom-poms. And then the other thing I was going to talk about was this cowl. <clears throat> so this is brioche. And brioche is similar to the um, fisherman's rib I did last week, but it's a, it, the process is different. It looks very similar, but the process is very different. And this is a two colored brioche. So you're knitting with one color, you're per working with the other color, makes it reversible. So it's that on that side and it's that on that side. So this is a really fun knit to do. And again, with lifelines, easy if you screw it up easy if you don't if you didn't see last week's um video go see last week's video i talked all about the lifelines and the fisherman's rib which would also go for brioche as far as fixing it and um so go go check that out i also have to give a moonflower update that was our very chunky chunky jackety sweater that um we did last sunday i think or saturday i can't remember but anyways a week ago not yeah a week ago two weeks two weekends ago um, and we have three sweaters completed. Um, one was actually noticed in, in the wild. We call it in the wild when somebody sees something in the wild and comments on it. And, um, so the, and they look great and they were easy to finish and literally three of them got done in, in basically a week. So if you were thinking about doing this one, it's still plenty of time to do this one with lots of different, um, yarns. We still have lots of yarn choices. And um, this is just a fast, fun knit. It is great to wear. It's really warm. It's a great sweater to have if you want to come knit with us in the back if it's a chilly day. <laughs> this keeps you very warm. <laughs> and that's it for this week. We're busy, busy, still busy, busy. Classes are very busy. Um, make sure you uh, let us know if you're coming in for a workshop because I had they have been filling up, especially Wednesday tends to really fill up. Sunday tends to fill up. So it might be a good idea to put your name down before the day of <laughs> and stuff. And there we go. That is this week in the studio and hope to see you there really soon. Bye.